In this video, I will do two things. I will show what standardizing data is, and I will talk about why you would ever want to standardize your data. My name is Adam Ross Nelson, and I'm a data scientist. As I said at the top of the video, I plan to talk about what standardizing data is and why you would want to do so. Overall, this channel is for current and aspiring data professionals who are looking to enter and level up in the field. Let's go to a Jupyter Notebook and take a look at some output that I've already produced. I'll have other videos again that talk about how to produce this output and how to standardize the data. This video, once again, is about what standardizing data is and why you would want to do so. So in this data, which is available online, I'll put a link to that in the video description, I have looked at the relationship using regression analysis between the weight of a vehicle and the efficiency of a vehicle. I've configured the data so we can interpret the output in the following way. For every 100 pound increase in the vehicle weight, we will see roughly a 0.6 miles per gallon reduction in fuel efficiency. You might expect that. As the vehicle weight increases, fuel efficiency would decrease. Let's take a look at another regression result. Here, I've used regression analysis once again to compare vehicle weight with the vehicle price. Looking at this output, for every 100 pound increase in vehicle weight, we typically see a $200, just over a $200 increase in the vehicle price. So, how does standardization help us with this particular analysis? Say we want to understand how weight affects price and efficiency, and we want to better understand how weight of a vehicle affects those other variables, but in a more standard way, or in a way that we can compare apples to apples. Right now, we have a coefficient of negative 0.6 and a co another coefficient of positive 204. It's very difficult to understand how those relationships compare or contrast. Is one bigger or smaller than the other? Is one stronger or weaker than the other? Standardization is one method that can help us do this. In order to accomplish this, I will standardize using z-scores. Again, I'll have another video which talks about how to calculate z-scores, but I will standardize miles per gallon and I will also standardize price. When I do the standardization, that changes the units to standard deviations. Some people or some sources, when you read about this, will say that, the, that standardization actually makes the data unitless which is partially true, but really you can think about the units once you standardize the data as standard deviations. Let's take a look at the output. Here we are looking at weight that has been regressed on miles per gallon, but the z-score. So we can see from this output that for every 100 pound increase in the vehicle weight, we see a reduction in efficiency by 0.1 standard deviations, by just about 0.1 standard deviations. Now let's take a look at the output for vehicle weight and price. But again, we've standardized price. So here we see that for every 100 pound increase in weight, we see a 0.06 increase in the vehicle price. So as it turns out, even though as we see a 100 pound increase in weight, we see a $200 increase in price, we only see a 0.06 standard deviations increase in the price. 0.06 is smaller than the 0.1 standard deviations we saw on fuel efficiency. Therefore, we can conclude about the relationships between vehicle weight and its efficiency with vehicle weight and its price. And we can show and we can conclude that the strength of the effect, the magnitude of the effect on a vehicle weight on efficiency is greater than the magnitude of the effect of vehicle weight on price. Let's take a look at one other scenario we might benefit from standardizing data. On the screen behind me, I have a scatter plot, and on the scatter plot, I have lines and dots, which roughly demonstrate how to calculate the distance between various dots. Whenever you're working on an algorithm that requires distance calculation, it is very important to scale your data. And here's why. Take a look at this x-axis, and take a look at this y-axis. If for some reason the x-axis has a scale that is in the thousands and the y-axis has a scale which is only in the dozens, when we're calculating distance, the x-axis is going to influence that distance calculation much more strongly than the y-axis will. I'll spare you the details here, but you can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate distance between the various points on this scatter plot or any scatter plot really 
after you have adjusted for the scales. Notice how when one of the axes has a scale which is much greater than one of the other axes, you will see that the distance calculation is more heavily influenced by the larger scaled item. There it is. There's two of many scenarios where it is handy to or important to standardize the scaling of your data. Again, watch for other videos. I'll put links in the video description which describe and demonstrate exactly how to standardize your data. There are a variety of ways to standardize your data as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I definitely also hope you had a little bit of fun and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Don't forget, you're more ready than you think you are. Hit subscribe, check out these other videos, and let's connect. I look forward to being in touch.